So I just want to take this opportunity to uh, welcome a friend of the people of Eritrea, Peter Schwitzel, who has been working in our country for the past 20 years. He's head of uh, a medical group, a German medical group called Archimed, and they've been working consistently in Eritrea, as I said, for the past 20 years. They have contributed to the improvement of the health services of the country. Himself and his group of doctors have saved the lives of many children and women and citizens of our country. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank him and Archimed on your behalf and to welcome him to give us a few words and tell us something about the work that they're doing in Eritrea. Peter. Too much honor for me, too much, much, too much. Thank you for that. Well, I was coming in 1995 to your beautiful country for the very first time without any idea what I will face and what are the problems of the country. And from the very beginning, I've seen lovely people, so much support and friendship. So being there for the first time, I had the idea this won't be the last time and so it was in just in March one week ago I've been there again for the 40th time coming there twice a year three times four times a year I had a little break due to my own children and the last one got some problems for surviving he stopped breathing after delivery and this is something we have faced a lot of times that children also in your country were dying although they were healthy had some problems after delivery or the mother had problems and this is one of our key projects to give support to mothers and children around this very risky day of life birth and ultimate Archimed is giving support to Eritrean children. It's in a German medical organization only working for children. But we can see what we can do beside this. So at the moment, we are also looking if it is possible to create a cardiac center for adult as well, not as Archimed, but with some friends of ours and perhaps with the support of Italy. I had the chance to meet some ambassadors a week ago since a big gala celebrity and was a nice possibility to have negotiations with all these people. So our work is developing, is increasing and it's a pleasure for me and my colleagues to be in your beautiful country with your very, very nice people and like Yemane told just a minute ago to a journalist and friend of mine, Eritrea is a safe country, people feel safe, your people are peaceful, and it's always an honor and a pleasure for us to be with your people in your lovely country. <laughs> And this time I had three journalists with me working completely free without any border and that's a complete different picture they have received than the picture normally is shown about your country all over the world and I feel it's a shame if journalists are writing always the same thing they they are reading the paper of the colleagues they have no new idea and nothing in mind they are always copying the same Eritrea the north like North Korea of Africa that's that's not the truth of course there are problems but what we have faced with our colleagues that was so amazing how they were traveling around and I'm sure they are they will show a completely different picture of your country 